the last several weeks, I've been having a lot of conversations with colleagues, patients, and members of our community about COVID vaccines. One of the most common things that I hear is that folks want to wait and see. They have many reasons for this. Some feel they haven't been studied enough or that we don't have enough information about the side effects or that maybe they have been exposed already and protected by natural immunity. There are others. The most common reason I hear from people who wanna wait is because they're worried about long-term side effects. Well, that's a fair concern. And nobody in healthcare wants to do anything that could hurt our patients. We know that before drugs or vaccines get approved, they have to pass through many stages of research and answer some key questions. Well, the results are in folks. This set of vaccines not only went through the traditional safety processes before being given to humans, but because of the huge numbers of people willing and able to participate in the trials, were able to demonstrate their results in record time. The vast majority of side effects from our vaccine happened within weeks for the first couple of months. Now we have literally hundreds of millions of people in the US who have re received either Pfizer, Moderna, or Johnson & Johnson vaccines. They have been scrutinized more than most any vaccine in human history. And there are very few short-term side effects and even fewer adverse events. Any small risk posed by these vaccines pales in comparison to the damage that we know getting COVID can do. We are still learning about the long-term consequences of this disease. The next reason not to wait, especially now, is because of the emergence of variants. As viruses circulate through a population, they enter the human body and they pick up mutations. This is normal business for a virus. Most mutations really don't do anything, but sometimes when a virus mutates, it learns a new trick, something that makes it easier to transmit or more deadly to the people it infects. The more people that are susceptible, the greater the possibility of another more dangerous variant emerging. With a vaccine, you not only protect yourself from infection, but you decrease the possibility of your body becoming a training ground for new variants. The Delta variant, which at this time is the dominant variant, is by far the most transmissible and the most deadly variant that we have seen to this point. So that brings me to my next reason. We are seeing an unprecedented surge in cases right now, and the vast majority of people who this variant is affecting are unvaccinated. It is making people sicker quicker. I've seen it with my own eyes. Vaccine hesitancy turns into vaccine regret. Many people who are getting hospitalized now are frustrated that they did not get the vaccine earlier and sometimes feel misled by what they heard before they got hospitalized. And we are seeing this variant move much quicker throughout our community. Unfortunately, if you had COVID before, that won't necessarily protect you this time. If you are on the fence, the time is now. If you wait, it may be too late. In the end, the only way we beat this virus is if we give it nowhere to go, where it has no one left to infect. And there are three ways there, getting the vaccine, getting the disease and surviving, or the least popular option, getting the disease and dying. Please don't wait, take the safer way. You owe it to yourself, get the vaccine. And if you're still not sure, that's totally okay. These can be very difficult decisions, but know that there's a lot of misinformation out there. Please just consult with someone that you trust. Your community's health professionals will always be willing to have these conversations. We only want the best for our patients and for our community. Hang in there, guys. We're going to get through this.